Alright. First time doing a react. I'm mostly because I'm just really excited for Firefly. Uh oh. I'm so excited for Firefly. I've just finished the Pinnacle story. I haven't uploaded the last part yet, but I wanna do react. I want to memorize this moment. I usually end up watching these live. Good evening, City of Dreams. Hey, why are you All dressed like that? Eyes are on the Pentagon Repetition, which is now in its fourth round, where the remaining competitors are still vying for their shot at victory. Leaving aside Duke Inferno's fiery demise, the family would like to reassure everyone that no deserves have come to harm. <laughs> That's still the case, right? <clears throat> With the crisis dispelled, only flowers, glory, and rapturous applause await. <laughs> and not to mention a pool party. Pool party. <laughs> Miss Acheron. Acheron. Pool party. Didn't we all agree to the swimsuit dress code? <laughs> Not a swimsuit. Damn. Hmm. Is that what we agreed? God, but you God, Acheron sounds amazing. As always. Albert, can I borrow you? Oh, <laughs> holy. <laughs> Madam J. So, what brings you here? <laughs> the corporation is planning to increase the special program budget. Here, it's all in the agreement. Thank you, Miss Jade. And thank you, RPC. <laughs> Where do I sign? Pleasure doing business. <laughs> he has the voice of a con artist. I can feel it. Firefly. Hey, hey. Can you do the transformation thingy? You know what I'm talking about. Ah, now's the perfect time. Okay. It's just there's a lot of people around. Oh, she's so no cute. Problem. Firefly, the true wife of Honkai Star Rail. Just blame your good buddy Albert. Mm, in that case, check out the newest upgrade. I shall set the seas ablaze. Ah, oh, yeah, that's our girl. To me, hiding is much easier than being honest. Yet, I still want to try expressing my emotions as any ordinary person would. Forgotten someone, my gray-haired friend. Sparkle. I put a bomb on this ship. You have ten minutes. Are you here to ruin my time with Firefly again? Stone. Can I interpret this as the next phase of the simulated universe? Correction. It's a new subject matter that Dr. Ratio and I have personally agreed on. Oh man, this patch already looks so good. No, oh, I will uh, put all the codes at the bottom of the description. We just want to get those before they're all gone. One amber era ago, Odiel Falfa, the Penaconial Falfa family head, 
invested a large sum in constructing the radiant Feldspar airship. Aside from the opulent parlor, ballroom, and recreation facilities, one could simply relax at the poolside with a few glasses of soul glass. This grand airship has sailed above Penacony's Sea of Dreams for an entire Amber Era, suspending services only recently in the wake of the crisis. The Trailblazers have yet to claim responsibility for this matter. In case you weren't aware, the Radiant Feldspar never opens to the public. Only the family's most esteemed guests are invited to take in such breathtaking right? aerial the views trailblazers. of Penacony. You mean to say that, after three whole versions, the Trailblazers might finally be able to take a vacation? <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The Trailblazers' recent battle against the Order caused great disturbance at Panacone. Correct. The Charmony Festival was forced to terminate. One can well imagine the damage to public opinion. The family's reputation must be built anew, and the public must be reassured. There are many delicate issues which urgently need addressing. Aside from the Oak family, the major lineages are preparing their responses to help deal with the aftermath. In the version 2.3 Trailblaze mission, the express crew will be invited aboard the Radiant Feldspar as witnesses to important family discussions. Anyone remember a certain mass fool issuing mutually assured destruction buttons to the residents of Panna County? I yeah, remember. unfortunately. Sparkle sent out gifts in each one of the past three versions. Surely she... <laughs> Would pushing the button really cause Panna County to explode? I have my doubts. After Only why do you have that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put that away. Take a deep breath, okay? <laughs> You guys are spending too much time with a certain blonde haired director. I'm not putting the bill if you blow up the radiant bell spa. <gasps> Let's leave these mysteries for the trailblazers for a bit. Huh? It's time we got back to the Charming Festival, baby. Who might be on a guest B, I hear you ask? <sighs> Just when they're about to get interesting, Albert hands things over to the trailblazers again. Family business is family business. We've got a show to do. Even if the next young lady needs no introduction. Uh, those are good eyes animation. a member of the Stellaron Hunters and hails from Glamoth, a world that was destroyed long ago. Glamoth? The same Glamoth from the Firmament Frontline Glamoth Relic Set? I remember the planar ornament description had a story about Glamoth's Iron Cavalry Regiment. Yes! Glamoth was once a rich and powerful empire with a vast territory. After the swarm invaded, everything was destroyed. Resisting the swarm called for the creation of Glamoth's Iron Cavalry. They were genetically modified soldiers, weapons that existed only to wage war. They piloted mechs to contain the swarm. I met many of those heroes and bade farewell to many. Hmm. <laughs> what stood out to me is that Sam's full name is actually Firefly Type 4 Strategic Assault Mech. Meaning that out there, oh, so Sam's just short. Distant celestial bodies. There could be other Sams. <laughs> Ooh, imagine that. Good thinking, Madam Jade. Perhaps the answer to that question lies in Firefly's myriad Celestia and animated shorts. <laughs> Count me in. I was wondering, is it really you talking when Sam says something, Firefly? Mm hmm. I actually spend a lot of time practicing my Sam lines. Let me guess. Silverwolf came up with the line. Damn, she comes up with some hardcore lines. Movements and Kafka put them together. Huh? That I can see her like practicing in front of the mirror. 
Yeah, well, speaking of professional doing poses and I stuff. It's time we took a look at what this young lady can do in her combat mech. I'm a fire type character following the path of destruction. Finally, fire using DPS. My during exploration, I summon my Sam armor. Sam can leap into the air. After landing, Sam attacks all enemies within a set range. Quite the heroic entry. After using technique to enter battle, for every wave of enemies, weaknesses can be inflicted on units without fire weakness, which lasts for a set number of turns. That's pretty In good. battle, Sam has two forms. In the initial form, using skill consumes HP while simultaneously regenerating ultimate energy. The lower the HP, the less damage sustained. Hmm. Are all Stellaron hunters classic, with their lives? Classic destruction <laughs> characters. When using ultimate, Sam enters the second battle form. The dazzling, complete combustion state. In addition to more powerful basic attacks and skills, speed is also increased. When using enhanced abilities, Damn, the dual wielding goes so hard. And weakness break damage sustained by enemies both increase. Sam restores HP with each attack. So, the complete combustion state allows us to get a glimpse of Firefly's view from the mech? That's a determined All right, I'm gonna figure out how to stay in this mode the all the time. That's so awesome! <laughs> I There's gotta be a way to just kind of like boop it. <laughs> Thanks! The complete combustion state's enhanced skill not only allows for increased toughness reduction, it can also inflict fire weakness on target enemies. The flames that Sam emits when breaking the enemy's weakness are quite it looks like it's already full again. And is that a countdown icon on the action bar? That's right! When the countdown is up, Sam will exit the complete combustion state. It seems like the effects of Firefly's abilities all relate to weakness break. I suppose it would make most sense for Firefly to team up with allies who have weakness break efficiency buffs. Uh, finally, I have an option other than Joy Yi mm -hmm. to That's do right. MLC stuff. For with. example, the Harmony Trail. We really are going into the break Ooh, effect meta. Oh. <laughs> what a wonderful coincidence! In version 2.2, the Trailblazer inherited the Watchmaker's legacy and embarked on the brand new Path of Harmony. <laughs> the spirit of Trailblazers, traversing unprecedented distances to go where none have gone before. But that's what it's all about. Bringing the will of the Trailblaze to more and more people. And on that note, I've got some good news for y'all. After activating the Harmony Trailblazer following the version 2.3 update, Trailblazers can obtain a Shadow of Harmony through the When Charmony Rings Out event screen, thereby upgrading the Trailblazer's Man. Eidolon level. And if I Harmony haven't had time to so experience good. Penacone yet? Don't worry. After locking the Path of Preservation, I wasn't sure about Clocky, but uh, the version 2.2 after the story, Clocky's okay. He can stay. Through the when Charmity rings out event screen. <laughs> I hope the will of the Trailblaze reaches everyone on this journey. You're such a Trailblazer, well, Firefly. Thanks. Now, without further ado, it's time we got to know a certain highly respected IPC director a little better. Enter Madam J. Gosh. You even got those snake eyes. Jade is a director of the IPC Strategic Investment Holy, Department uh, and a Bora member of the fiend character. She is as beautiful as she is elegant. And the upcoming Radiant Fells Fire discussions are an opportunity for her to showcase her true skill. In contrast with Topaz's negotiation abilities and the Venturine's daredevil spirit, I prefer to operate behind the scenes, using emergency measures to reap a full harvest when the opportunity arises. It feels like making a deal with Jade is a risky proposition. If you ever let your guard down even a little bit, You'll never escape her trap, no matter how hard you struggle. I think the term you're looking for is 
Femme fatale. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Mm-hmm. And Jade also has a hobby by the name of Bonna Jade Exchange. A pawn shop, essentially. Though it kind of sounds like a fun dining experience with you on the menu. One swish of the contract and the customer is eight billion credits out of pocket. <laughs> Ooh, I don't got that many kind of credits. Watch your step, trailblazers. Jade's goal always aligns with her own interests. She plays the long game, whetting her customer's appetite while extracting a suitable price. She first draws her customers into a vortex of desire. Bounces where they're most valuable, leaving nothing but an empty shell of despair. Why is everyone staring at me? Albert, didn't you just sign an agreement with Jade over the special program oh, budget? Oh, yeah, you did. Hmm. Wait, what? I... What was I get to? <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, there it goes. So... What exactly happens to people who sign agreements with Jade? Patience, patience. Why don't we let the combat do the talking? As a quantum type character following the path of erudition, my basic attack deals blast damage to a single enemy and adjacent targets. A blast damage dealer. That's actually really target. good. Exactly. Oh, we need more characters like my that. My skill, on the other hand allows me to sign an agreement with a single ally, thereby granting them enhancement and speed boost buffs. When the signee attacks the enemy, they can deal additional damage, but at the expense of consuming their own HP. Enhancement in exchange for HP. <laughs> Is that what people mean by bestowing poison in the guise of sweet dew? <laughs> Now, of course, if I choose myself as the signee, the speed boost and HP consumption effects do not apply. When I or a signee launch an attack, it accumulates charges. Oh, I, I barely see it. It's very when charges little. Charges are full. A follow-up attack is launched. The IP it's like sure enjoy a follow-up attack. Almost non-existent. Hmm. It seems that the strategic investment department has its own modus operandi. My ultimate, on the other hand, allows me to mete out punishment in accordance with the agreement. In addition to dealing damage to all enemies, my follow-up attack is enhanced. If there's a place that's closest to a dream, then are the punish destined for the place that's furthest from it? Like, an abyss? <laughs> you don't think those places might be one and the same? When using my technique during exploration, enemies within a set range enter the blind fealty state and will refrain from attacking me. After attacking an enemy inflicted with blind fealty, other enemies in the state will enter the battle, with all enemies sustaining damage. Ah. Just a single sheet of paper. <laughs> Signing away control of your life to others is all too easy. Oh, <sighs> poor Owlbert. He might be doing Jade and the IPC's bidding for a few decades more than see, anticipated. I can see a lot of good pure fiction wakey themed wakey. with this. I don't take kindly to procrastination during working hours. <laughs> How are you feeling, Albert? You won't be retiring anytime soon. I wonder soon. if, uh... But then, neither will your program. Dude, she's good outside of teams like the IPC team. <laughs> Why do I still feel like I'm working for nothing? I wouldn't trouble yourself with that question. Why don't we talk about the version? Depending on my Firefly pulls, I may go for her. Ooh, great idea! In version 2.3's first. Ooh, that's such a good banner. Trailblazers can acquire the limited five-star character. That's like the break team package right there. As the limited five-star character Ron May. In addition, the drop rates for the limited five-star light cone, where about your dream? I would say go for E1 Ron May, not the light cone. Like him doesn't do uh, that Ms. much, Firefly. I feel. She must yearn for the world. I'm going for the Firefly Light Cone though. Firefly Light Cone. Faint bus. I don't care what it does. Must have. Meanwhile.
Meanwhile, in 2.3's second half of Revenge, Trailblazers can acquire the limited five-star character Jade and our resident Knight of Beauty, Argenti. We'll also be joining the right, lineup. Hold up. This, uh, this banner, not gonna lie, Jade's gonna have to carry this entire second phase. Because Natasha's not really a grab. Aster's great. But I don't know. I, I've I've kind of stopped using her. I haven't really seen many other people use her as a late. She might make a comeback break being a thing. Uh it's her ball. Serval Serval. I like I love Serval, but at like for older players, this is not really a good good four star pick. You're you're literally only rolling for Jade. In addition, I guess Argenti's fine if you want the physical hope is prices as well as a light cone and instant. But they did just drip market a new physical character coming out, so even the fiercest of executives has a gentle side. Who isn't moved by the laughter of children? My heart isn't actually made of stone, you know. And finally, the brand new four star light cone after the Charmony Fall will also be joining the war. I wonder where Mr. Sunday is uh, right all now. All these new four star light cones. Uh, need a glass of soul Thank lightning. goodness. But no good anywhere, Trailblazer. Still need the four star nobility one. Please put that back on right up. Again, I'll put this in the description so you can just copy and paste it. Welcome back, dear viewers. Let's duck right into version 2.3's brand new events. First up, a significant update to the simulated universe. Yeah, so exciting! Did Mr. Screwlum and Dr. Ratio devise a new project? You guessed it. Led by Mr. Screwlum, Divergent Universe, the human comedy, PB is a brand new is project too cute. path. Up until now, the aim of the simulated universe has been to research the stories of the eons. I'm assuming that the human comedy has more of a human focus? Bingo! That's the main research thrust of this phase of the simulated universe. Looks like this project will be conducted on the Radiant Feldspar. Minga number two, let me tell you a little more about it. First up, a groundbreaking update to the Divergent Universe, the arithmetic mapping function. In the Divergent Universe, Trailblazers can switch between characters they already possess. Huh. No more downloading? So they can create their own lineups? Precisely. When testing the Divergent Universe, Trailblazers will no longer be limited by character downloads. When character level is lower than the current equilibrium level cap, it will automatically increase to meet the cap. Ooh. Meaning encouragement not to invest in characters that I don't one, like. But I use them in the divergent universe. It increases to a set level. You got it. So handy. But it's also pretty good what for new players. Level, but no suitable relics or light cones. <laughs> Where we're not. And that's it gives them time to like Temporary catch up and get an idea of what the game's like when you start getting to that automatically assigned cap of, like, like skill automatic. skill a great now we mustn't overlook dr ratio's new brainwave equation a buff combination of two different paths before the start of every test trailblazers have the opportunity to select a random equation and for the equation to take effect you'll need different amounts of path blessings once the required amount has been achieved, like this. the equation will activate. I like when they try to the start mixing paths together. Corresponding combat abilities. Equation has a max of three stars. I see. So the higher an equation's star level, the more blessings are needed to activate it. You nailed it. And to speed things up, the geniuses have kindly marked the required path blessings for each equation in Trailblazer's possession. Knowing which blessings can activate an equation is easy as pie. I want all so the ability. Give me all the ability combos, please. Follow the mark. Adapt 
Adjusting your choices to suit your equation allows you to cater the effects to your current team. Mm, oh, is that propagation? You still letting us you use propagation outside of Sorn? Suit your current equation. I want to see trailblazers mix it and match it. So, if I accidentally chose an unsuitable blessing, or if I want to switch my current equation, can I make a change? Of course, by visiting the workbench of creation. Trailblazers can overwrite their existing equation and switch it out for another. Unwanted blessings can also be switched out for other blessings, or even Ooh, that's really hands. good. Huh? Has the curio store added more purchasable items? Oh, am I hallucinating? Did Madame Herta really lower the prices? The Ooh, curio yeah, it means more curios. This means more, uh, curios, more jades. Also choose from weighted curios. Because of that similar These universe catalog. Are suited to characters of specific paths or types, and really elevate the combat experience. Keep your eyes peeled, Trailblazers. A little bookmark, I think, Separately, in the middle or at the top right. I think that's what you used to kind of go. Oh, I don't have this yet. Divergent universe. Trailblazers can win different prizes in these domains by spending cosmic fragments. Oh no, slot but machines! Beware. In the event of a program in error, the cosmic fragments could be wasted, or even land you with negative curios. Sometimes the same starting point can lead to very. We really gambling in Simuni. That's crazy. Luck is an important component. It sure is. Now, allow me to introduce an impressive optimization that left a big impression on your buddy Albert. When suffering defeat in the simulated universe, Trailblazers no longer need to force stop the game. Divergent no universe more. combat now no allows all to have four. Challenge, and Trailblazers can select a new I don't think I've seen lineup. anyone. Do, oh, I've seen one person oh, do that. I've always wanted that function. After Good, completing could be me. I always play ability. Trailblazers can acquire synchronicity points and inspiration, allowing them to activate the buff nodes and inspiration circuits. Testing the simulated universe just got a little bit easier. Thanks for all the info, Albert. Uh, this seems way more entertaining than current simulate universe for point. sure. What about the planar ornaments? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> The planar ornament extraction function has arrived. Every time Trailblazers clear the Divergent Universe, they can choose to save a record of that challenge and archive the data of the equation, blessings, and curios in question. Choose the planar ornament you want, use the archive, inherit the data and buffs from the archive, challenge the boss enemy, and obtain immersion rewards. Dang, we just speed running now. You mean you can skip ahead? just need to defeat the boss to get quick access to the planar ornaments? Are we sure this isn't some cracked All version right, well, of the simulated universe? Last few that's weeks of doing regular ahead. sim uni. Shh, keep her down! The last person to doubt the Genius Society lost 76 accounts. A brand new simulated universe. <laughs> Sounds worth a try. Hey man to that. <laughs> now, in version 2.3. The Divergent Universe will be adding two new planar ornaments. Duran, Dynasty of Running Wolves, and Forge of the Kalpagni Lantern. Make sure to use the new planar ornament extraction function to right, let's get see if these are any good. After experiencing ordinary extrapolation, the Divergent oh, Universe what they do. will have a weekly what do they do? typical extrapolation objective. By completing this weekly Did challenge, Trailblazers can obtain a first-time completion reward, as well as additional synchronicity points. Not to mention, in order to celebrate the arrival of the Divergent Universe, Madam Herta has added the five-star erudition light cone Eternal Calculus to the store. Trailblazers who wish to redeem it better start reserving some Herta bonds. It sounds like the level of freedom in the Divergent Universe is really high. Faster access to planar oh, ornaments, yeah, yeah. full choice of characters. Those are some big gameplay improvements. I think I'm halfway to another big like improvements count. indeed. In the vastness of the universe, the eons are beyond our reach. Humanity uh, must as long as it's good on like in the my current air edition character. Ooh, what if it's good for Serval? When gazing up at the stars, Since she's not an ability character. Planted firmly on the ground. The story. Even though she plays with that. The human comedy may seem small, but that does not make them insignificant. 
Trailblazers, get exploring. I will. We can't wait to experience those stories. It's a chance for us to find out more about ourselves. I look forward to the memories. Oh, <laughs> any room for a non-human companion? <laughs> Aside from all of this, in Pentacone's Dreamscape sales store, a deal has been struck with a member of the mysterious Creed Exequi. They wish to seek traces of the shapeless prince in the experiences of your deadly struggle. Unlock the brand new permanent challenge mode, Apocalyptic Shadow mode. Dream Flux Reef, and experience those past dreamscapes. Creed Exequi. Is this the first appearance oh, of this man, everyone's of favorite not person the bully Cacolia. A new permanent challenge mode? So what's different? In Apocalyptic Shadow, Trailblazers will challenge boss enemies that they have encountered in their journey. Every phase has two enemies, which are split into four levels of challenge difficulty. The enemies uh -huh. in Apocalyptic Shadow are a little different to regular boss enemies. In preparation for the fight, Trailblazers can read the enemy's traits at the start of the battle. As with other permanent game modes, during the challenge, there are buff effects for Trailblazers to choose from for every boss. Make sure you maximize the advantages of your lineup. Defeating enemies through team adjustments or by exploring different battle strategies makes for a richer combat experience. Trailblazers can record a maximum of three floors of three-star quick clearances. That's right. And after the first time clearance, of shadow set to he's now a uh, trailblazers can obtain the four-star character, star character for sure. Yi, as well as three hundred stellar jades and self-modeling really resin. <laughs> Shui Yi's a really good character. We're just getting warmed up. Let's take a look at the permanent game mode rotating schedule. The first phase of the Apocalyptic Shadow Challenge will launch on the day of the version 2.3 update and last for six weeks. Every version will rotationally update according to the following sequence. Apocalyptic Shadow, Pure Fiction, Forgotten Hall. Three just weeks, as before. Two weeks. On every other Monday, the permanent challenge stage is replaced. Related system functions have also been optimized. When entering the three permanent game mode screens from the Interastral Peace Handbook, aside from being able to see the challenge lineups of their friends, Trailblazers can also easily check the star level progress of their current challenge. On the permanent game mode preparation screen, Trailblazers can use preset lineups to create their team, and even customize with drag and drop. How thoughtful. Mm-hmm. Now let's talk rewards, shall we? Dragon Drop is kind of good if you're using like your shadow, preservation characters. Earn a maximum of you can like, click everything you need. 720? <laughs> you might want to take another look at our agreement, Albert. Huh? <laughs> the maximum number of stellar jades awarded in each phase of the Forgotten Hall, Pure Fiction, an apocalyptic shadow permanent challenges is increasing from 720 to 800. Then the budgetary increase will be funded through the Albert salary. Thanks, Albert. You, you a bro. <sighs> it's like I said. Mm, my pockets feel so deal full. With jade is a risky proposition. <laughs> well then, following this change. Trailblazers can now obtain a total of 2,400 Stellar Jades through the permanent challenges in each version. Then why do I hear quiet weeping? <laughs> Thanks, Albert. My, my jades side. feel so <laughs> nice in my pocket. Keep it together, Albert. Your sacrifice no. will be remembered. In the upcoming version, the origami birds also venture into the radiant feldspar. Bring with them a little game. Here's hoping trailblazers can help to test it out. An arcade game? Huh? Let me give Silverwolf a call. These origami birds are very endearing. But why do I have a sense of deja vu? <laughs> this arcade game... <clears throat> Trailblazers need to cause elimination within a specified number of steps in order to increase the bird's combat power. Before the end of every turn, corresponding damage is calculated according to the difference in combat values. 
When your opponent's HP returns to zero, like my bank account, victory Dang, is that was a Brady Fairy. This gameplay. It's a Pokemon Brady Fairy. Really man. be the legendary. I never thought the day would come when I could play match three on a Pentaconian airship. <laughs> In the Origami Bird class event, trail bitches can also do battle freely with friends from across the universe. Can I fight PvP? Of course. You saying this PvP? Old buddies or gaming acquaintances, all can connect and play. Get tested. Mm. <laughs> Great. The next event is called Stellar Simmer. I think it's set two of six, so you can probably like, have a room of six. Stellar. Stellar Flare. Is this the sequel? You're a sharp one, this Zacharon. Stellar Shimmer brings with it lots of brand new challenge mechanisms and trial character lineups. Catering your team to suit the mechanisms is the key to victory. These mechanisms. Care to divulge a little more? Well, for example, in certain stages, breaking an enemy's weakness can grant you an extra action. In other stages, characters enjoy unlimited revivals and can regenerate 50% of their energy. Does that mean Trailblazers can try doing away with survivability units and focus purely on damage output lineups? Mm-hmm. Defeat as many waves of enemies as possible in a set number of cycles to complete the challenge and obtain rewards. Woo! That's it for events. Time to check another breather. Don't go anywhere. More the straight up battle of attrition. About worrying right about sustaining. Court. I like that. Teams are easy. For sure. First up, it's the return of a nail biting and thrilling tradition. Gift, Gift of, of Odyssey. Odyssey. Yes. Check in for 10 free wards. The usual. There's also version 2.3's double events. Our good friends, Planar Fisher and Realm of the Strange. Double the Planar one's going to be good now. Material? We can just kind of What's not to love? Straight up farm. Also in this version are the newly added Cavern Relics. Iron Cavalry Ooh, against right, the so Scourge break effects, and the Wind Soaring Balance. Follow-up attack. Trailblazers can head for the Cavern of Corrosion. Path of Cavalier challenge to obtain them. Mm. Hold up, go back. I want to read this. Obviously, I want to have to use one of these for Firefly. Trailblazers can head for the Cavern of Corrosion, Path of Cavalier. So the classic increased break effect by 16%. If the Willow's break effect is 150 or higher, ignore 10% enemy targets defense dealing break damage when dealing break damage to them oh my god give me that all right i got some i got some ideas to obtain them Oh, here's the follow up one. And let's have to get the right through that follow up one. Challenge to obtain them. All right, so this is another good set if you just need like another attack percent set for two piece. Increase the wheel's crit rate by 6%. After the wielder uses a follow up attack, increase the damage dealt by their ult by 30%. So it wouldn't really be that good on Topaz. Kinda sounds iffy on Adventuring too. Ooh, I could actually use this for a Herda and Himiko. So I may have to farm this as well. Well, I'm gonna be farming it for Firefly, so I will be farming everything. Mm-hmm! And let's not forget the new Path of Erudition Trace materials that'll be added to the brand new Calyx's rough sketch, dynamic outlining, and exquisite colored dress. For trailblazers who wish to level up traces for me, these materials are indispensable. Ooh, so many updates! 
man, I can't wait for this version to drop. <sighs> and we're at the end of the version 2.3 special Look at program. Summer for gotcha games. It's about time we bade farewell to this white knight. Bothering Waves has been good. At least on my end, it's been really good. I eagerly await the version 2.3 story. Okay, Star Rail's always being good. Discussions make for smooth sailing. DK's been on top of his game more than ever. Work of the IPC. I'm looking forward to the brand new Divergent Universe, not to mention all those brilliant events. Don't forget to try them out. Um, in that case, see you in the next stream, Trailblazers. I'll be waiting for you at the usual spot. Bye. Bye. I'll meet you there, Firefly. Looks like there's more. Is written in this thing anyway. That's it. That's it. I'm at it. What am I? A god. Joker. Oh, brother. You can't say those things. They're too afraid to read out for themselves. You're still alive on the air. All these years, working my tail feathers off for the RPC, and even the audience. Thinks I'm an intern. Do they? <laughs> no, it is a love story. To fund the stellar Jade budget for the new event. Thank you. I like more Jades. To Sunday. Now listen up. The three years are up. I quit. If you oh, shit. It, I got an offer from the CN Joe to host the war games. Albert about to become a big time sports anchor. <laughs> you can get that on your knees and beg for all I care. It won't make any difference. What? The most important event in the Zienjo calendar, the War Games. The opening session is right around the corner. Here, you will witness members from all Zienjo delegations fight for supremacy in the Luminary Combat Arts Ceremony. First up, put your hands together for the Zienjo Yaoqing delegation. Fierce and swift is Fei Xiao, the Merlin's Claw. Mm. And by her side, <laughs> Merlin's she Claw. She drink plain soup and has no time for coriander. Oh, that's it's totally a fire military character that teased. What the heck did I just read? Up next, he's cold and silent as a hunting shadow. The crow feathered weirdo, Mota! And following close behind him is the Xianzhou Juming delegation. Strong and righteous is Huayan. I can't the make out what kind of character that is. And now, he strikes while the iron oh, it's the, uh, forges while the flames are bright. Oh, bright works looking character that can also got teased. Yunli. I'm telling you, her ult is really bright works. I'll be disappointed if it's not. And finally. The official host delegation has arrived. Let's hear it for the Xianzhou Xianzhou Lafu. Lafu, let's go. Please welcome. Having suddenly returned home oh, I can, the I can already tell this is a must roll abundance the character. Commission cauldron master, Ling Sha. As well as an exceptionally gifted and legendary new sword master. Dang, we don't even need a name. For the time being. No wonder they needed me for this gig. Wait, Summer Games Festival. That's today. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to do a part two. Alright, I found some pictures.
to get more better look at this new sword master because wasn't i think jing Yu the old sword master and then uh something caught my eye more particularly towards the bottom right here this little belt loop with a certain design at the bottom of it I think that's uh I think this is March and if it is that's crazy Ooh, half of the hunt, March 7th. Damn, when she's dual wielding. Also, actually, those are the sleeves that she usually has, too. So she changes her hairstyle. She's going to get, like, a whole new design. Dang, the entire trio of uh the entire trio of the astral express is getting upgraded because don hung's in biblical lune we have uh preservation harmony and destruction the harmony now being the best of our forms i wonder how this is gonna work out where she becomes like the new sword master if it is actually March 7th. I'm like 90% sure, but if you think otherwise, maybe uh maybe let me know what you think who the new legendary sword master is. I shall set the seas ablaze.